Malay, Malay, Bahasa Melayu Bas Malay is a major language of the Austronesian family spoken in Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore. A language of the Malays, it is spoken by 290 million people across the Strait of Malacca, including the coasts of the Malay Peninsula of Malaysia and the eastern coast of Sumatra in Indonesia, and has been established as a native language of part of western coastal Sarawak and west Kalimantan in Borneo. It is also used as a trading language in the southern Philippines, including the southern parts of the Zamboanga Peninsula, the Sulu Archipelago, and the southern predominantly Muslim-inhabited municipalities of Bataraza and Balabac in Palawan. As the Bahasa Kabangsan, or Bahasa Nacional national language, of several states, Standard Malay has various official names. In Malaysia, it is designated as either Bahasa Malaysia Malaysian language, or Bahasa Melayu. Malay language. In Singapore and Brunei, it is called Bahasa Melayu, Malay language, and in Indonesia, an autonomous normative variety called Bahasa Indonesia, Indonesian language, is designated the Bahasa Persatuan, Pemersatu, unifying language, lingua franca. However, in areas of central to southern Sumatra where vernacular varieties of Malay are indigenous, Indonesians refer to it as Bahasa Melayu and consider it one of their regional languages. Standard Malay, also called Court Malay, was the literary standard of the pre-colonial Malacca and Johor Sultanates, and so the language is sometimes called Malacca, Johor or Riau Malay or various combinations of those names to distinguish it from the various other Malayan languages. According to Ethnologue 16, several of the Malayan varieties they currently list as separate languages, including the Orang Asli varieties of Peninsular Malay, are so closely related to Standard Malay that they may prove to be dialects. There are also several Malay trade and Creole languages which are based on a lingua franca derived from Classical Malay as well as Makassar Malay, which appears to be a mixed language. Topic. Origin. Malay historical linguists agree on the likelihood of the Malay homeland being in western Borneo stretching to the Bruneian coast. A form known as Proto-Malay was spoken in Borneo at least by 1000 BCE and was, it has been argued, the ancestral language of all subsequent Malayan languages. Its ancestor, Proto-Malayo-Polynesian, a descendant of the Proto-Austronesian language, began to break up by at least 2000 BCE, possibly as a result of the southward expansion of Austronesian peoples into maritime Southeast Asia from the island of Taiwan. History The history of the Malay language can be divided into five periods, Old Malay, the Transitional Period, the Malacca Period Classical Malay, Late Modern Malay and Modern Malay. It is not clear that Old Malay was actually the ancestor of Classical Malay, but this is thought to be quite possible. Old Malay was influenced by the Sanskrit literary language of Classical India and a scriptural language of Hinduism and Buddhism. Sanskrit loanwords can be found in Old Malay vocabulary. The earliest known stone inscription in the Old Malay language was found in Sumatra, written in the Pallava variety of the Grantha alphabet and dates back to 7th century, known as the Kedukan Bukit inscription. It was discovered by the Dutchman M. Battenberg on November 29, 1920 at Kedukan Bukit, South Sumatra, on the banks of the Tatang, a tributary of the Musi River. It is a small stone of 45 by 80 cm 18 by 31 in. The earliest surviving manuscript in Malay is the Tanjong Tana Law in post Pallava letters. This 14th century pre Islamic legal text produced in the Adityawarman era of Dharmasraya, a Hindu Buddhist kingdom that arose after the end of Srivijayan rule in Sumatra. The laws were for the Manangkabau people, who today still live in the highlands of Sumatra. The Malay language came into widespread use as the lingua franca of the Malacca Sultanate 1402 During this period, the Malay language developed rapidly under the influence of Islamic literature. The development changed the nature of the language with massive infusion of Arabic, Tamil and Sanskrit vocabularies, called Classical Malay. Under the Sultanate of Malacca the language evolved into a form recognizable to speakers of modern Malay. When the court moved to establish the Johor Sultanate, it continued using the classical language. It has become so associated with Dutch Riau and British Johor that it is often assumed that the Malay of Riau is close to the classical language. 
However, there is no closer connection between Malaccan Malay as used on Riau and the Riau vernacular. One of the oldest surviving letters written in Malay is a letter from Sultan Abu Hayat of Ternate, Maluku Islands in present day Indonesia, dated around 1521 to 1522. The letter is addressed to the King of Portugal, following contact with Portuguese explorer Francisco Serrao. The letters show sign of non-native usage. The Ternateans used and still use the unrelated Ternate language, a West Papuan language, as their first language. Malay was used solely as a lingua franca for inter-ethnic communications. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Classification and related languages. Malay is a member of the Austronesian family of languages, which includes languages from Southeast Asia and the Pacific Ocean, with a smaller number in continental Asia. Malagasy, a geographic outlier spoken in Madagascar in the Indian Ocean, is also a member of this language family. Although each language of the family is mutually unintelligible, their similarities are rather striking. Many roots have come virtually unchanged from their common ancestor, Proto-Austronesian language. There are many cognates found in the language's words for kinship, health, body parts and common animals. Numbers, especially, show remarkable similarities. Within Austronesian, Malay is part of a cluster of numerous closely related forms of speech known as the Malayan languages, which were spread across Malaya and the Indonesian archipelago by Malay traders from Sumatra. There is disagreement as to which varieties of speech popularly called Malay should be considered dialects of this language, and which should be classified as distinct Malay languages. The vernacular of Brunei, Brunei Malay, for example, is not readily intelligible with the standard language, and the same is true with some varieties on the Malay Peninsula such as Kita Malay. However, both Brunei and Kita are quite close. The closest relatives of the Malay languages are those left behind on Sumatra, such as the Manangkabau language, with 5.5 million speakers on the west coast. Writing system Malay is now written using the Latin script Rumi, although an Arabic script called Arab Malayu or Jawi also exists. Rumi is official in Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia. Malay uses Hindu Arabic numerals. Rumi and Jawi are co-official in Brunei only. Names of institutions and organizations have to use Jawi and Rumi Latin scripts. Jawi is used fully in schools, especially the religious school, Sekolah Agama, which is compulsory during the afternoon for Muslim students aged from around 6 to 7 up to 12 to 14. Efforts are currently being undertaken to preserve Jawi in rural areas of Malaysia, and students taking Malay language examinations in Malaysia have the option of answering questions using Jawi. The Latin script, however, is the most commonly used in Brunei and Malaysia, both for official and informal purposes. Historically, Malay has been written using various scripts. Before the introduction of Arabic script in the Malay region, Malay was written using the Pallava, Kawi and Rengkong scripts, these are still in use today, such as the Cham alphabet used by the Chams of Vietnam and Cambodia. Old Malay was written using Pallava and Kawi script, as evident from several inscription stones in the Malay region. Starting from the era of Kingdom of Pasai and throughout the Golden Age of the Malacca Sultanate, Jawi gradually replaced these scripts as the most commonly used script in the Malay region. Starting from the 17th century, under Dutch and British influence, Jawi was gradually replaced by the Rumi script. Topic. Extent of use Malay is spoken in Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, East Timor, Singapore, parts of Thailand and southern Philippines. Indonesia regulates its own normative variety of Malay, while Malaysia and Singapore use the same standard. Brunei, in addition to standard Malay, uses a distinct vernacular dialect called Brunei Malay. In East Timor, Indonesian is recognized by the constitution as one of the two working languages the other being English, alongside the official languages of Tetum and Portuguese. The extent to which Malay is used in these countries varies depending on historical and cultural circumstances. Malay is the national language in Malaysia by Article 152 of the Constitution of Malaysia, and became the sole official language in Peninsular Malaysia in 1968 and in East Malaysia gradually from 1974. English continues, however, to be widely used in professional and commercial fields and in the superior courts. 
Other minority languages are also commonly used by the country's large ethnic minorities. The situation in Brunei is similar to that of Malaysia. In the Philippines, Malay is spoken by a minority of the Muslim population residing in Mindanao specifically the Zamboanga Peninsula and the Sulu Archipelago. However, they mostly speak it in a form of Creole resembling Sabah Malay. Historically, it was the primary trading language of the archipelago prior to Spanish occupation. Indonesian is spoken by the overseas Indonesian community in Davao City, and functional phrases are taught to members of the Philippine Armed Forces and to students. Phonology Malay, like most Austronesian languages, is not a tonal language. Consonants The consonants of Malaysian and also Indonesian are shown below. Non-native consonants that only occur in borrowed words, principally from Arabic and English, are shown in brackets. Orthographic note The sounds are represented orthographically by their symbols as above, except is z, the same as the z sound only occurs in Arabic loanwords originally containing the sound, but the writing is not distinguished from Arabic loanwords with z sound, and this sound must be learned separately by the speakers is n y is ing theta is represented as s the same as the s sound only occurs in arabic loanwords originally containing the theta sound but the writing is not distinguished from arabic loanwords with s sound and this sound must be learned separately by the speakers previously before 1972 this sound was written th in standard malay not indonesian the glottal stop is final k or an apostrophe although some words have this glottal stop in the middle such as racket is c d is j is psi x is kh j is you loans from arabic phonemes which occur only in arabic loans may be pronounced distinctly by speakers who know arabic otherwise they tend to be replaced with native sounds topic Vowels Malay originally had four vowels, but in many dialects today, including standard Malay, it has six. The vowels, e, o, are much less common than the other four. Orthographic note, both, e, and, are written as, e. This means that there are some homographs, so parang can be either, pra, war, or, para, blonde. But in Indonesia parang with, e, sound is also written as parang. Some analyses regard i, o, oi as diphthongs. However, i and o can only occur in open syllables, such as kukai tax, and pulau island. Words with a phonetic diphthong in a closed syllable, such as bake good, and laut si", are actually two syllables. An alternative analysis therefore treats the phonetic diphthongs i, o, and oi as a sequence of a monophthong plus an approximant, a j, a, and o j, respectively. There is a rule of vowel harmony. The non open vowels, i, e, u, o, in bisyllabic words must agree in height, so hitting nose is allowed but asterisk heading is not. Topic. Grammar Malay is an agglutinative language, and new words are formed by three methods, attaching affixes onto a root word affixation, formation of a compound word composition, or repetition of words or portions of words reduplication. Nouns and verbs may be basic roots, but frequently they are derived from other words by means of prefixes, suffixes and circumfixes. Malay does not make use of grammatical gender, and there are only a few words that use natural gender. The same word is used for he and she, which is dia or for his and her, which is dia punya. There is no grammatical plural in Malay either, thus orang may mean either person or people. Verbs are not inflected for person or number, and they are not marked for tense. Tense is instead denoted by time adverbs such as yesterday or by other tense indicators, such as suda already and bellum, not yet. On the other hand, there is a complex system of verb affixes to render nuances of meaning and to denote voice or intentional and accidental moods. Malay does not have a grammatical subject in the sense that English does. In intransitive clauses, the noun comes before the verb. 
When there is both an agent and an object, these are separated by the verb ova or avo, with the difference encoded in the voice of the verb. Ova, commonly but inaccurately called passive, is the basic and most common word order. Topic. Borrowed words The Malay language has many words borrowed from Arabic in particular religious terms, Sanskrit, Tamil, Persian, Portuguese, Dutch, Sinitic languages due to historical status of Malay archipelago as a trading hub and more recently, English in particular many scientific and technological terms. Examples <laughs> 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 Despite the different vocabulary used by the two standard versions of the language, Malay speakers should be able to understand the translated passages below. Topic: <laughs> Article 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Basic phrases in Malay. In Malaysia and Indonesia, to greet somebody with "Selamat pagi" or Selamat Sejatera would be considered very formal, and the borrowed word, hi, would be more usual among friends. Similarly, bye bye is often used when taking one's leave. However, if you're a Muslim and the Malay person you're talking to is also a Muslim, it would be more appropriate to use the Islamic greeting of Assalamu alaikum. Muslim Malays, especially in Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and Brunei, rarely use Selamat pagi, good morning, Selamat tengah hari, good. Early afternoon, selamat petang, good late afternoon, evening, selamat malam, good night, or selamat tinggal, selamat jalan, goodbye, when talking to one another. Topic. See also. Varieties of Malay. Jawi, an Arabic alphabet for Malay. Comparison of standard Malaysian and Indonesian. Indonesian language Languages of Indonesia List of English words of Malay origin Malajo Batawi Malaysian English, the English used formally in Malaysia. Malaysian language References Further reading Adelar, K. Where Does Malay Come From? Twenty Years of Discussions About Homeland, Migrations and Classifications. Bidragan Tot de Tal, Land and Volkenkunde 160 2004, No. 1, Leiden, 1-30 Edwards, E. D., and C. O. Blagden, 1931. A Chinese Vocabulary of Malacca Malay Words and Phrases Collected Between A.D. 1403 and 1511. Bulletin of the School of Oriental Studies, University of London 6 3. Cambridge University Press, School of Oriental and African Studies, 715-49. COB 1939. Corrigenda and Addenda, a Chinese vocabulary of Malacca Malay words and phrases collected between AD 1403 and 1511. Bulletin of the School of Oriental Studies, University of London 10 1. Cambridge University Press. Vladimir Braginsky, the 18th of March 2014. Classical Civilizations of Southeast Asia. Routledge, pp. 366. ISBN 9781136848797. Topic. External links. Adelar, K. Where does Malay come from? Twenty Years of Discussions About Homeland, Migrations and Classifications. Bidragan Tot de Tal, Land and Volkenkunde 160, 2004, No. 1, Leiden, 1 30. The List of Malay Words and List of Words of Malay Origin at Wiktionary, the Free Dictionary and Wikipedia's Sibling Project. Swadesh List of Malay Words. Digital version of Wilkinson's 1926 Malay English Dictionary. Pusat Rujukan Persarat in Malayu, online Malay language database provided by the Dewan Bahasa Dan Pustaka. Kamis Besar Bahasa Indonesia Dalam Jaringan, online Great Dictionary of the Indonesian language published by Pusat Bahasa, in Indonesian only. 
Dewan Bahasa Dan Pustaka Institute of Language and Literature Malaysia, in Malay only. The Malay Spelling Reform, Asma Haji Omar, Journal of the Simplified Spelling Society, 1989-2 pp. 9-13 later designated J11 Malay Chinese Dictionary Malay English Dictionary Malay English Translation <laughs>